And frankly, there is no idea more un-American than the notion that any one person could choose the American president. Under the Constitution, I had no right to change the outcome of our election. The primary focus today was on the legal battle that led up to the insurrection about what Vice President Mike Pence could or could not do to overturn the results of the election. And Greg Jacobs says that he and Pence went through the law, they went through the history, and it was very clear to them very early on that there was a very limited role for the vice president to play. He was not someone who was meant to assert his will on the outcome of the election. He was there to proclaim the actual results of the electors from each state and tally them up and announce that total. And that was something that apparently we learned today Mike Pence never wavered on despite the pressure campaign from President Donald Trump. Donald Trump begins to tweet about Mike Pence and what he wants Mike Pence to do. He speaks about him um, while at the ellipse, and one of the really harrowing moments from today's hearing was seeing rioters and insurrectionists actually chanting, hang Mike Pence. And it's 40 feet is the distance between the rioters and Mike Pence. That's how close they got. And the committee used that number as an example to say this was a very scary moment for the vice president. And it, his life was literally in danger. We learned and we saw never before seen photographs of him in a secure space actually holding up his phone um, at the moment that Trump was tweeting about him. So he was showing somebody the, the tweet. He was given the option, you know, do you want to leave? Can, can you figure out a way to get out of here? Do you want us to get you out of here? And he was determined to stay, and he stayed and he finished out the job, finished out the work.